Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about styling and web pages and bootstrap. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how do you style a web page and is it true that bootstrap is a good fit for large projects? So the short answer is I usually if well, it depends. I style my web pages depending on situation. We'll touch on that. And no, Bootstrap is not always a good choice for large pro or serious projects. It depends a little bit on the use case, if you ask me. So when I style a web page, usually I try to avoid tools such as Bootstrap, if it, with one single exception to that rule. And that single exception that I have is: is this a tool? that is going to be used primarily by people who doesn't give a fuck about the interface. That's the number one thing. And usually you can think of this in general terms as commercial product, user facing product that draws traffic to your business versus internal tool or like an interface or a database or so maybe you have a customer platform for administrators or things like that where people basically do things on your platform. As an example would have been if let's say that you had your own internal WordPress thing, something like that, where the focus is to allow someone to do something like upload products or something like that to a web shop that is user facing. Now, if you had that sort of situation, then Bootstrap would have been a really, really great choice for the administrative tool and a really shitty tool, a shitty solution for the user facing um, application. Now the reason why I, I argue that this is the case is not because Bootstrap isn't good. It's one of, if not the most important innovation we have had in CSS. I mean, honest to God, Bootstrap and jQuery are among the biggest things that has ever happened in front end, if you ask me. But Bootstrap has one thing that, or oh well, a few things that is not really a good fit for a commercial application, at least in the late stages. In the early stages, it's a different topic. So Bootstrap, in ha Bootstrap is an opinionated way of making a UI. It's basically a shortcut for you to create a very nice looking interface in a very short amount of time and get everything responsive and so forth. Now, the main reason why Bootstrap was developed in the first place was because of this exact thing, because in back in the day, the people working on Twitter, at Twitter and so forth, they created a responsive framework primarily for themselves. The styles and all that stuff is very Twitter-ish from that era, right? And then they made it into a, like a, an op, well, pretty much an open source project that other people could leverage. And that's exactly the sort of work that you really like to see, at least most people who don't work at like one of the really big IT companies. I mean, we appreciate this because now all of a sudden someone else made an investment in something that was really only designed for them to begin with, but then it grew and it became more, more accessible and now it's actually a very, like it's a tool that every, quite a lot of people leverage. However, with that said, that also means that all the styling and the focus was primarily in those days on solving a problem for another company. And that is the issue with Bootstrap when we talk about the commercial product. Because in the early stages, if let's say for the sake of argument that you have a proof of concept, you're making some startup idea come to life, right? then you really focus mostly, unless you have a designer or someone who really has a very clear vision of the interface in the early days, you want to just get that done as quickly as possible. Get something up and working to see if you can prototype up an idea that is going to actually sell or to work, right? Then Bootstrap is a really nice and short way to get there. It's going to save you tons of time in terms of design and like setting up all the artboards and like all of this stuff. You don't have to design anything. You just have to know roughly what your application is going to do. And then Bootstrap will take care of the visual aspects and all that stuff for you. But the second you get to a large scale product, the clock is ticking. And the clock is ticking because when a company grows, and I've seen this so many times, I without fail, I have never seen this not happen. It's just that if a project becomes a success and the company starts growing, it actually becomes more mature. It is just a matter of time before the company designer or like the company stakeholders, the owners, they just go, hmm, we want our own style. We want to create our own company identity, our own brand, if you will. 
because that's the thing about bootstrap bootstrap is so common today that i can i swear to you i can go to a web page and just may immediately see if it was pretty much made with bootstrap because that's how iconic that look is and that's not something that a company wants they want to stand out they want to do their own thing every single time every without question it's going to happen and then you're in a little, a little bit of a pickle if you've picked Bootstrap for this large scale project because now you have invested into something that although it may have helped you in the early days, now it's most likely going to become a hindrance because you're going to be in this weird situation where, okay, now I need to override styles and rewrite styles and stuff of that nature on top of Bootstrap in order to, to actually get things to look the way I want. And in my experience, that's just, uh, it's just a really big hassle to deal with that sort of thing. It's just not worth it. It might have been sore, depending on the product, of course, but usually you don't gain so much time from using Bootstrap when you're working with a commercial product. In the early days, yes, sure, maybe, but I argue that in that scenario where you're making a commercial product, it's better to actually invest in make, doing things right like just establishing a work pattern up front rather than using bootstrap and then trying to switch it out because if you're going to rewrite the whole whole ui that's going to take a long time and you you will probably go through more than one rebranding depending on company because that's something like a company's identity will change at the different stages that they find themselves when they go from proof of concept to startup to corporation and like beyond that the styles usually start differing and that flexibility that you get from just making this stuff from scratch is immensely valuable and bootstrap is not really designed to accommodate that level of customization but for an internal tool it's perfect because there you don't have that you don't really need to rebrand like your administrative panel you the people who use that are not you like they are people who are already like they're on your platform for a different reason they're there to set up ads or add products or stuff like that they just want something that looks nice and is very comprehensible and makes them extremely productive if you've used any of the tools like uh, say you've gone to your settings menu in facebook or your I don't know if you do any YouTubing, but if you go to their panels there, I mean, although it looks nice, it's really, I mean, are you going there to get a nice experience? No, you're there to do work. You're there, there to do something. And that's a perfect fit for, uh, for Bootstrap. So what I want you to take away from this is that I don't think that Bootstrap, it, it's so easy to say that, oh, Bootstrap is a perfect fit for large-scale projects because quite a lot of companies these days, I mean, they include all of Bootstrap. It's a very big framework in their styles just to get the grid fee functionality. And the reality is that you don't actually have to use Bootstrap to just get the responsiveness and stuff like that. There are There is support for CSS grid today in all of the major browsers. And Flexbox goes back even further and you can pretty much recreate all of Bootstrap's layout system through the with Flex, Flexbox if you wanted to. You can create your own column and row system if you wanted to. So. If you're using Bootstrap, it's primarily because it's, it's going to create a shortcut for you to a nice looking interface. And that is a very good thing if you know that this is going to be an internal tool where you're not going to be forced to rebrand that entire application, which is usually the case for an internal thing, but it's very rarely the case for user facing commercial product. Because in that scenario, I swear to you, it's just a matter of time before the stakeholders and the big wigs in your company come and say, well, you know what, we want our own company identity, so we need to redesign all of that. And it is a lot easier to accommodate that use case without Bootstrap than with Bootstrap. Have a great day.